Hi, my name is Akhil Fairoz. I'm 18 year old and I do swimming and water polo in Royal College and this will be my last year in college. So I have been doing swimming for almost 12 years. Since I was in grade 2, I have been doing swimming. And when it comes to water polo, I started in 2017. That was when I was in grade 10. Uh, when it comes to discipline, discipline is one of the most important things for athlete because uh, if there's no discipline, there won't be any consistent training or any progress in the athlete. And when it comes for discipline for me, I don't take uh, things so considerate because Sports is all about discipline. If you don't have discipline, there won't be any progress in you. Mainly I train with my school team because when you are training with a team, always there are people to motivate you. When you have a bad day, uh, they are always there for you. Or when your teammates have a bad day, you can motivate them. So these days I do four sessions of gym with uh, cardio and uh, weight sessions and uh, uh, three days of rest. So something that I have enjoyed when I was small was swimming. I started swimming when I was very small and I have continued ever since. So uh, every time I come to the pool I enjoy with my teammates. Uh, everything we do I enjoy. It's not uh, about uh, sports, when it comes to anything, if you enjoy it, you should continue it. So I like to be with my teammates, I had made memories with them, so that's what keeps me doing the sport. As I mentioned earlier, nutrition is uh, one of the main disciplines that athletes should have, because nutrition is a major role when it comes for the athlete's performance. So I've been doing sports in Sri Lanka, but I have uh, no idea how sports in uh, other countries have been done. But uh, as I think, sports in Sri Lanka are only supported by schools till their schooling age. After the schooling age, uh, there's not much of support given by uh, anyone for the sports. Yes, I have plenty of uh, lazy days, but uh, it uh, again comes down to discipline. Uh, when you wake up, you should make a decision whether you are going for practice or whether you are going to sleep that extra hour. So, if you think you are going to sleep, for, sleep that extra hour, you will be wasting everyone's time, your parents, your teammates, your coaches. So, it's up to you. When you are, if you are doing something, you should make your goals and uh, you should work through it. Something that I have seen is people uh, do their own research about gyms and sports and sometimes those researchers could be wrong, the information given on social media could be wrong and they tend to believe in it and they uh, try doing it on their own and which could lead to injuries and uh, lots of problems. Whatever you are doing, you should set up a goal at first and then you should uh, Make a plan of how you are going to achieve all the goals. And then, bit by bit, step by step, you should achieve every single goal. And then, if you think you are going to uh, stop, think of why you started. Think of all the people who have sacrificed their time, effort into you uh, because of your goals, your parents, your coaches, your team. Hello guys, I'm at Eco Fitness Solution. This is where I work out. So I'm going to do a cardio session and a gym session today. So let's go and see. Okay, so this is the first exercise. It's the tire flip. It's a full body workout and I'm going to do three sets of for this. So I had done my first set. Uh, this exercise is similar to the deadlift, 
and I'm going to start my second set. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, this is similar to the deadlift techniques and uh, if you all have any back injuries, better not to try this and uh, this is a good exercise to build up your endurance. So and I'm going to start my third set. Okay, so this is my second exercise. This is sled push and pull. I'm going to do three exercises, 20 meters push and 20 meters pull. Okay, so I'm done with my first exercise. Uh, you should uh, know when you are going pushing it, your back should be straight and your legs should be at a 90 degree angle. And when you are pulling it, uh, you should be at a squat position and you should hold the rope very tight. Okay, so I'm done with my second set. Okay, so this is a good exercise for your legs. When you do swimming, you need your leg strength. Uh, very much for trading. This is a very good exercise for your legs and also to build up your endurance. Okay, so this is my third exercise. This is the monkey bar. I'm going to do three exercises of this. So let's start the first set. Okay, so I'm done with my first set. This is a good exercise for your shoulders. Uh, when you're doing swimming, you need your shoulders a lot because you do a lot of shoulder rotations. So this is a very good exercise. Okay, so I'm done with my second exercise. This is a good exercise for water polo also because when you shoot, you need strong uh, elbows. Okay, so I'm done with my second set. I do water polo, so we shoot a lot. So you need a lot of shoulder power. So this is a good exercise to build up your shoulder power. Uh, in this exercise, uh, you have different variations. You can try out different variations and uh, it helps to build up different muscle groups. So let's start our third set. Okay, so I'm done with my third set and uh, I'm going to go to my fourth exercise. Okay, so this is my fourth exercise. It's a TRX exercise. So you do it with your body weight and this is a good exercise for your... So I'm going to start my first exercise. So when you're doing this exercise, you have to have a good grip with the loop and uh, you should remember to keep your back straight when you're doing this exercise. This exercise is a very good exercise for beginners to uh, do it before going into weights. It will build up uh, muscles before lifting heavy weights. Okay, so I'm done with my fourth exercise. We'll be moving into the fifth exercise. Okay, so this is my next exercise. This is the barbell high pull. This is an explosive workout. I'll be doing three sets of it. So let's start the first set. Okay, so when you're doing this exercise, you have to be in a squat position and your back should be straight and you should have a good grip with the barbell. Okay, so this is the last exercise for the day. This is the landmine row. I'm going to be doing three sets of this. So let's start the first set. So I'll be doing six reps of one hand and I'll be changing. This is a 
when doing this exercise, you should always keep your core tight so you can balance your body when you're doing the exercise. So I'm going to start my second set. Okay, so that's my last exercise for the day. I'm done for the day. I did three outdoor exercises and two indoor exercises. So I'm done with my gym session. I will move you on to my post-workout meal. So today I'm at pit meals to have my post-workout meal. So today I'll be having a bulking meal. So this is my post-workout meal, let's uh, dig in. Okay, so in this meal you have uh, rice, chicken, you have uh, ladies fingers, you have two eggs and uh, you got carrot and also pumpkin. So this is a good meal for you to have after your workout, uh, you can, uh, it's a bulking meal. Uh, so it's a good meal. So this is a watermelon drink. Uh, it's a pure watermelon drink and uh, they didn't add any sugar. So it's a very healthy drink. So I'm done with my meal here today. So I'd like to thank uh, Fit Meal for giving me this uh, delicious uh, dish. And uh, I recommend everyone to come and have a look at Fit Meal. Okay, I'm done for the day. And so I would finally like to thank Hi TV, My Fit Life for having me today. And uh, my gym, Eco Fitness and uh, uh, Fit Meals for giving me a good meal today. Until we meet again, stay fit.